Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Talent Retention and Development Talk Show brought to you by Broke House. I'm Elaine. Today, we are glad to have a special guest with us. He is from Tony from Vietnam. Hi, Tony. Xin chào. Yeah, hello, hello, Elaine and uh, everyone. Actually, I'm very happy to be here today to share something about my life or something like that for everyone. And I hope that uh, my story can help all of you. Can like at least you can do something for your future. At least we can have something better future, right? So, Tony, could you share with us about you and your company background? So, uh, we are organize some class training for the young people who want to be the trainer in the future. And uh, we also do some kind of uh, because we are one. The, the part of the Vietnamese for the building. So we are work together. Sometimes we also have the Federation of Vietnam to organize some class to give them certificate. But uh, short term only. But my academy is uh, training for the people who want to be the trainer at least three or four months. And then then them go to the other fitness center to connect together with us to practice at there. Because you know that like like when you learn everything but you not practice it still yes. not belong to you yet right or what is good what is not good and that is correct or not and then just become a, your experience so that is very important so Tony can you share about with us uh, about your background previously when you, you're still young you conquer the Mount Everest the experience. <laughs> Thank you. I actually was born in a poor family in a small village. My hometown is far from the Chimin City, it's uh, more than 500 kilometers on the mountain. And uh, my family is really big, you know. I have four older brother, sister, and uh, younger brother and sister. And, and my generation is uh, very poor. I have nothing to eat, you know. And uh, I not in, have enough time to go to school. Most of my time I spend at the farm, I spend taking care of the cow, you know. We spend to a lot of green field, very beautiful, very lovely, very peaceful. And, and at that time, I think like, why I have the hard line like that, you know? My friends, they have a lot of time go to school. Even when they go to school, right? Their parents bring them go to school and pick them up back to home, you know? So they care a lot about their children. But how about me? I feel like very sad, you know? So you have to set your goal from now. Otherwise, you have no future at all. You cannot choose where you were born, but you can choose how to live. And then I start to work really hard, more than my friend think, you know. At the daytime, I have half day go to school. And then in the morning, I uh, went to school. And then afternoon, right, I went back home, I eat a little bit. And then I go to cut the grass, eat for the cow. And then the cow just standing at the same place. And then they eat, you know. I have time to study something more. Otherwise, all of my friends, you know, when I take care of the cow, they just follow the cow everywhere. You know, the cow go to the left side, they go to the left side, they go to the right side. So the people just follow them and they cannot do anything. And then I have more free time to go to learn something. And then I realize that no, we are worse born in a poor family. We have no future just because of our thinking. If you have dream, why you dream very small, very big, you know? And nobody chat like, like the tax. When you have dream, you have to think bigger. And then at that time, I think like, okay. So I want to do something when I when I am I'm dying, right? A lot of people, not only in Vietnam, all a lot of people in the world, so they know that have the Tony was born already. But I still don't know. So I, I think like is my dream still very big? I don't know how to do. And then I have to think like okay, so we have to divide step by step. So mm-hmm. I have to think bigger a little bit. So I have to go to the Vietnamese national team. But you know, on the training, I realized. That we have the good trainer, we have the good coach. It's really, really important, super important. I'm start looking for my trainer because the uh, Vietnamese national team, they select more than 3,000 Vietnamese people go around Vietnam. So that is the biggest competition for me. And, and I'm very small. At that time, I'm only 49 kilos. And all of my competitors, you know, they are so big, so tall. And they look like giant, it compared to me. And then I had to think like, okay, do you want in your life to be a normal staff, to normal people, try to find the food to eat three times a day, and then you pass away, or what you want? Because you know, we are worse born in this life for some reason. It's not because we are just 
worst bones and if you like you know like the wind go to the left side go to the right side try to find the food to eat three times a day and then we pass away so it's not it's not like that compete for, for the team go to find the people for the first Vietnamese people go to the top of the Everest mountain and then I have to stop in university for one year and then I just focus for what I want to do in my life you know we think from morning until evening we train really hard sometimes because of we train we running super hard the oxygen not yet go to inside my brain so I feel super easy at the morning or afternoon we are training for our physics but at evening time we're training for myself if you want to if you desire to go to Everest mountain you have to sign for the contract if you die there they not bring your body back and then uh, I think back you know is uh, my dream my dream is you want to be the first Vietnamese to go to Everest mountain I want to find the food you know uh, for it three times a day or something like that. So that is the reason why I want to go to Everest Mountain.